Hey, this is Americhick Art, and I'm Vicki. Today we'll be having some fun with this, a spiral art kit. I spotted this at the local Dollar Tree, and it reminded me of the Spirograph toys I played with as a child. Let's open it up and check it out. As you can see, this kit comes with one, two, three, four different shapes to draw with, each one having a few holes for your pen to go through. Is a demonstration of what the circles will look like. It opens up to reveal a flat board which you can take out and store your spirographs in underneath. So in order to use this kit I do need to supply my own paper which I cut to the width of the kit and I do have to supply my own pens. I'm just using these Liquid Mark um, or yeah, Liquid Mark gel pens and Pro Max pens that I've bought at the Dollar Tree for previous art experiments. So we're going to start with the big one. And what you do is you put it in these grooves here and let's use purple to start with. Nice, vibrant purple. You stick it in one of the circles here and you go, you press in towards the grooves and it will guide your pen into making ovals. Well, it's not perfect. You do get some slip ups. I'm definitely going to get some slip ups since I haven't done this in forever. that thought along the lines. Um, let's move this over and well flip it over and try out a different groove. Let's do a nice green. Let's try one of these inner grooves. The further out, the slimmer your ovals will be. The closer to the middle you get, the more thick your ovals will be. Either way, you're gonna end up with the circle of interconnected ovals. Oh, geez. Don't use anything that will rip the paper like that. Let's start with a fresh sheet. And a different shape. Let's do the square. 
So we can't use anything too pointed. So we have to use a ballpoint pen or a pencil, something that won't rip the paper, unless you have really thick paper. So let's try with one of the corners. And the shape is lifting up, so that's fine. We're gonna get this diamond shape with this one. Well, it looks like it only does several rounds like that. Let's try something a little bit more inner. Let's with a different color. Let's do this green. Next one in. Oh, that's interesting. It actually does a circle. And it, like with the one before, it's not going to do too many of the circles like you would get with a circle. Let's go with a different color. And go with this furthest in and see what that does. Well, it looks like you're going to get a nice solid circle. Oh wait, did I do that one already? Let's try the second one in. Yeah, that's a little bit different. So there, that's the square, what the square is going to do. Let's try a different one. We have the small squ uh, circle and the oval left. Let's do the oval. We'll stick with the red color for now. We're going to do the outside on the short edge. So let's see what that looks like. Looks like a wavy triangle shape here. This does more around and it looks like you'll get more of a complete circle when it comes to connecting everything. See, you get a circle on the inside here, and it has points along the outside. Let's try the outer on the long side with a blue. That's different. It still waves in, it, it pinches in towards the center rather than a lot going outwards. You do want to go slow with this, otherwise you're going to uh, make mess ups like I did with my first sheet. And if you use more than one color, you can obviously see that the overlap makes it look really pretty. You can get some really good designs if you stick with it. All right, let's do one more before we switch out to the last shape. Let's do something close to the middle here. And we'll go with green. So we'll stay close to the middle here. Um, it 
it's wavy like the previous shapes. I believe I've completed it. I can't really tell with this, uh, with all the overlap, but you can see the little banding here with the overlap on where the pen overlaps with the shape. All right, last shape. Let me switch out my paper. It's a circle shape, so pretty much straightforward on this. It has outer circles and inner circles. Looks like we have two different layers on this with three different going in. So we're going to stick with black on this one for a bit, at least for the first layer. So let's go outer layer over here. So we're getting this triangle-like shape that overlaps. It's interesting how you get the center actually ending up being a circle instead of the shape that you're starting with, at least with the uh, square and the oval. I think I've overlapped on this one. I just can't tell. I think the spirograph is lifting up in parts, making it difficult. All right. Oops. All right. So there's black. That's on the outer. Let's do one on the inner with green. This is more of a egg shape. It's not even crisscrossing. You can see the banding a little bit clear here. I think if you are on the outer pegs like this, it tends to lift off. But if you stay closer to the inner pegs, it'll stay down better. Anyways, that's the last shape. You get some nice contrast with some of these. So that is it for this activity. We got some pretty nifty spirographs here. I believe I like this one because it's the most colorful. This is the type of activity I can sit down and just relax. Something I would do if I had art block. It's self-explanatory. You put the piece of paper in, you put uh, and you put one of these in the grooves and just let your pen do the work. Anyways, please subscribe if you want to see more content like this, like the video, and comment if you remember any other toys from your childhood that just did amazing art tricks like the Spirograph. I love reading your comments and I definitely look forward to them. Have a good day.